Okay, so regarding Aprakash Grahas, we now know about Dhub Parivesh and Vitipat. What next? The next is Indrachap. Indrachap, also known as Chap or Dhanush or Indra Dhanush, as you may have known by the name Indra Dhanush, is a rainbow, basically. This is generally it will be in next Rashi to Parivesh, 11th house from Sun. However, to know the exact method of how to calculate Parivesh in the chap, etc. I have referred to an article regarding Aprakash Grahas and Upagrahas available on my website. You should refer to that. Right. Now this Indra Chap is considered like Venus, is akin to Venus, behaves like Venus. It is good in every house except for the 3rd, 8th and 12th house in the horoscope. Right. So starting with the first house, if the Indra Chap is in the ascendant, then the native is endowed with wealth, grains, gold. So basically the native is very resourceful, very rich. The native is also grateful. Whatever he talks about is very agreeable by all. People love him, like him. And the native is devoid of all type of afflictions. So bad things in nature, behavior, character is not there. And native also lives a healthy life, right? Affliction means both bad tendencies, habit and things which cause diseases. When the Indrachap goes into second house, the native speaks in a very good manner, speaks in a tone which is liked and loved by all. The native is very rich. The native is very modest. The native is learned. The native is charming and the native is religious. When the Indrachap goes to third house, you see third, eighth and twelfth house are bad for Indrachap, right? So when Indrachap goes into third house, the native is a miser. The native is well versed in many type of arts, but the native also indulges in theft, cheating. There can be loss of a limb because of disease or accidents and the native is very unfriendly. The loss of limbs because of disease and accidents will not happen if Lagna Lagna Lord is powerful. Lagna will become powerful when it is influenced by Jupiter, Mercury or Lagna Lord or otherwise Lagna Lord will become powerful by being in his exaltation Rashi, own Rashi, Muldrakon Rashi, Vargottam Rashi or going in a beneficial Navamsh, right? In the chap, when situated in the fourth house, gives makes the native happy. The native will have multiple vehicles, much resources, many sources of income. There will be no scarcity of job and resources and wealth to the native. The native will be owned by kings, will enjoy a great position in life, and generally will keep very healthy. When in the chap goes into fifth house, the native is very valorous, very splendorous. The native is farsighted. His words, his ideas come true. The native is very pious, very affable, loved by many. And the native generally acquires prosperity in all of his undertakings. When the Indrachap goes to sixth house, native destroys his enemies. He is very successful over enemies and in fights and litigations. The native is generally happy. Affectionate towards his family members, the native is very pure by heart, by character and by behavior. And the native achieves success and plentifulness in all of his undertakings. When Indrachap goes to seventh house, the native is wealthy. The native have many virtues. The native is learned in Shastras. The native is religious. And the native is agreeable. Whatever he talks about, that is agreed by all, loved by all. Eighth house, not a good position for Indrachap. So when Indrachap goes into eighth house, one is interested in what others are doing, not focusing on his own work, which is a reason for his difficulties in life. The native is also cruel, is immoral, and generally is interested in the wives of others. And the native will also have major health problems. Problems related to childbirth, etc. will also be there. In the chap in the ninth house, the native will do a lot of penances. Native will be religious. And with his worship and mantra chanting, he will also get results, whatever he desires. 
the native will follow religious duties, follow religious observances, the native will be highly learned and the native will be famous as well. When in the chap goes to 11th house, native will have many children, native will have abundant wealth, native will have many vehicles. There will be no scarcity of job opportunities and resources to him. And the native will be very famous as well. In the chap goes to 11th house, native gains from almost all of his undertakings. Native generally lives a disease-free healthy life. However, the native is angry and short-tempered. The native is very much affectionate and attached to his spouse. And native is well versed in mantras, gets mantra siddhi. For whatever purpose he do the mantras or worship the gods, he achieves it quite easily. And native is also very well versed in using weapons and different different. When Indrachab goes to 12th house, a bad house for Indrachab, the native is generally wicked in nature. But he is honored. The native is evil. The native is shameless. Native will be immoral in matter of relationships. And native will be poor as well. This is to be understood. When Indrachab is afflicting the Lagna Lagna Lord or is situated in 2nd house, 7th house, 3rd house, 8th house, Negatively. Negatively means when Indrachap is situated in this house with malefic planets. Then it generally indicates death and accidents through stone, wound, wounded by weapon and falling from a height. So if someone is having Indrachap in these houses, they should be very careful with it. As I told you that Indrachap behaves like Venus, if Indrachap is with moon, then it will make the native very Emotional in relationships, such people give their 100% in a relationship, often cheated by others. But these people are very emotional and because of their emotions, they want to do anything to sustain the relationship, which makes other misuse them. So people with moon within the chap should be very careful in careful and practical in relationship and will not be over emotional in relationship as such. Right. The same result will be applicable because I'm talking about relationships. So the, the same result will be applicable when the seventh lord is with Indrachap. Right. When Indrachap goes with Mars, the native will be libidus. Native can have extramarital affairs, multiple relationships he will have. And generally people of opposite gender will be, you know, will, will be around the native and will be giving the native, you know, opportunities to indulge in bad karmas, which the native should avoid. In the chap with Mars, native will be very well versed in whatever he is doing. Native will be very skilled. And specifically, if the native is into engineering or into fields where a mastery over a particular tool or a particular technique is required, then native will do very good in such areas. When in the chap goes with Venus, uh, yeah, uh, when in the chap goes with Mercury, sorry, Venus after Mercury. When in the chap goes with Mercury, the native generally gets married to some friend only. The native have great circle of friends, which generally comprises of people from opposite gender. The native is learned, the native is intelligent, the native is religious, the native is discerning. The speech of the native is very impactful. The speech of the native is very agreeable. Generally, people want to listen to the native. And through speaking, the native can do very well in life. So such people should be in a profession where their prime work is to speak, speak to people, talk to people, such as marketing, etc., which will be very beneficial for the native. When Indrachap is with Venus, one is given to luxuries, enjoyments, and happiness in life. One will have multiple properties and vehicles. One will have a very good loving spouse. Some relationships before marriage will be there. There are slight chances of extramarital affair as well. But the prime result is riches, happiness, multiple properties, and vehicles to the native. When Indrachap goes with Saturn, generally the person can be forced to remain unmarried or celibate or separated from life partner. These people are generally in long distance relationship where they feel very dissatisfied, but they do not want to come out of relationship because of the fear of being alone. A fear that they should concur, otherwise it is very problematic to them. The native suffers in relationship. The life partner spouse also suffers bad health. Right. The native is generally, native generally gets, you know, sadness and disappointments in relationships. However, professionally, this native will do good 
And if the native can just put his 50% concentration in his professional life, then he will do really very well in his profession. So for professional life, it is very good. In the chapter with Rahu, native can be cheated in relationships, deceived in relationships. The partner may promise something else, but may not fulfill it. Or the partner may show a very good picture of things, whereas the things are not that way. So cheating in relationship is the main result with this job with Rahu. But apart from that, it gives great riches to the native, happiness to the native, success to the native. And generally, the native is very skillful in whatever he is or she is doing. And because of being very skillful, they are also very successful in their professional lives as well. When Indrachap goes with Ketu, the job with Mercury is a very rare combination. So this is a very good combination, in fact. When Indrachap goes with Ketu, one generally stays away from love. Right. Getting some initial disappointments in love, person starts hating the concept of love and relationship altogether. However, a good partner comes in life which changes this complete concept and then the native can enjoy marital life, enjoy marriage, enjoy the relationships. However, in the case of marriage, it may indicate, it will indicate multiple marriages. Apart from that, it will make the native spiritual, not much religious, but spiritual. And will give whatever is needed, whatever is required by the native, right? So it is not very good for fulfillment of wishes and desires, but whatever is needed in life to live happily will surely be provided to the native by this combination, right? So this was the result of Indrachap. In nutshell, in, in all the houses with all the planets. And as I have been telling in this video, the prime concept is that if you are looking at your horoscope, you just take the result and apply it in your horoscope. But then in that particular case, you have to keep all other combinations in mind as well before starting to predict. The real purpose of making the videos is that it is for students, right? So that you will understand the result of in the chap in different houses. You will make note of it. You will use it. That is the first thing. And secondary, you will try to understand how I am making these results, why I am saying these results. And by thinking over the results, you will uplift your astrological understanding, which will help you make better predictions in the future, right? So thank you for watching the video.